know students this is from my best 195 student to show you how you can actually use PowerPoint to um, to do multiple things um, the now the original videos I did for PowerPoint how to do a screen uh, a recording over your voice now I'm gonna show you the exact same thing or uh, and but I want to mute that voice I don't want to uh, just kind of do screen recording so I can do voice over with the video okay so this is the two ways. The one is just without your personal using your webcam to see your video like I'm doing now with the Camtasia. And the second one is um, using your webcam to show your video if you want to do the real TED talk like uh, some, some of your colleagues have done. Uh, you can actually do this in PowerPoint. So I'm going to show you how to do this in PowerPoint without actually uh, buying Camtasia. You can do this in screencast as well if you are doing use screencast i know a couple, uh, one of you at least i know they use screencast so now i'm using camtasia so the nice thing about you need to if you do when you do you, when you did the TED talk extra credits um you only talk but you also show need to show presentation that's what i was hoping for but that's why we do the uh, TED talk extra credits so you can learn from it and and uh, those of you those of you who done that we've done a wonderful job but it would be nice to also show yourself uh to be more engaged with your audience i know some of you don't have a camera that is fine you can just put a picture of you just to, to let the people know who you really are okay it's really it's it's much uh more engaging uh, you, you you people will buy into your message without having your your uh, your video your image um you're gonna lose your audience. It, it doesn't matter how strong your message is. Your your uh, your uh, your audience is not gonna be that much interested. At any rate, <clears throat> so now I'm using PowerPoint. If you're using PowerPoint 365, it's always been updated. So I usually I love to use the design ideas, and this one here is that's a video. I uh, will show you how that plays, or you can just do just uh, a static, no animated. And I look for more animated one. They they refresh all the time. I like one earlier. That means it's actually there. So I'm gonna click on delete it. I hope it's there. Uh, it's generate. It's not there. Darn it. It's okay. So I still look for videos that is not appearing. You just have to refresh. If it's not there, I'm gonna just have to do without videos. Oh come on. No videos. There were really nice ones before. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. I'm going to do undo. See if that happens. Okay. So this is the videos. I'm going to go down here. There's one earlier I really, really liked. But it's, it's not appearing for some reason. And I look for it over and over again. So I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to apply it. So you can see it animated. You can, uh, when you start licking, I'm going to use here. Using, uh, I, it's going to be a long video, by the way. Uh, because I'm using multiple options, PowerPoint, that Talk Pro. Let's just say that Talk as a pro. Okay, uh, you can increase the size of this. Uh, this is maybe just too much. I'm gonna increase it, make it bold so people can see it better. Okay, it just some of the things that you need to actually apply to make it a little bit more appealing for the people to see it. Anyways. So the next one, I'm going to go ahead and insert a new slide. Uh, the next slide is going to be, uh, that's not what I want, sorry. New slides, this one is recording with audio, and uh, that will that we'll show that already. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to show you the final result both ways, that's fine. I'm going to go insert screencast uh, I'm gonna select your screen I will select it usually without my uh, my taskbar and my timer because you might have to edit it and I'm gonna go ahead and record now it's gonna be recording me and I'm gonna also use the Camtasia recording as well so once you're recording and you are here and you are start talking about your assignments your powerpoints what you have your a powerpoint you can uh, got your PowerPoint running and you can go ahead and show you your uh, your slides in here if you're interested But I'm gonna show you a better way to do that if you just want to do this, okay? But here is just mainly for your, for your final project when you start sharing your social media site This is essential 
because PowerPoint does not do that uh, unless, you know, showing you your video and this unless you're following my instructions. Uh, so here is talking about my YouTube channel. He is talking about the Facebook. You just walk him through it. Go LinkedIn and do that same thing as well and other social media, Twitter and so on and so on. So he said, oh, and this is this is the one with the audio. I'm gonna do the other one without audio. The exact same thing without audio. It's gonna be silence. Okay. So I'm gonna stop this for now. I'm gonna go right here and stop it. And you can allow you to edit this through here. Uh, you can reduce it and you can play it um, to make sure. You wanna start talking about your assignments, your PowerPoints, what you have your PowerPoint. You can now to edit the video just go to the video format oh, uh video format all right here playback and trim video so you can trim the uh, the part you're trying to record and not record it would be much cleaner okay i'll show you so right here is down you can play it from here you want to start talking about your okay. good let me see at the end you see that uh where it starts right here i'm gonna go ahead and remove the end there we go okay so click okay so let me see is this correct the audio i'm gonna do the other one without audio the exact same thing without audio it's gonna be silent. there we go you that's, that's gonna have to go a little bit more go right here so you just have to play around you got it right okay you just have to play till you get it right click okay so is that get trimmed all right so i'm gonna do the next one Without audio, I'm going to enter another slide. I'm going to be quiet. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, I should have done this slide before I actually do the, the last slide. That's the one recording without uh, audio. I mean, you just have to be quiet. Uh, or if, if the audio is playing, you can actually play it and mute it if you want. Uh, you can mute the audio right here. Make it turn it down so you will not people will not hear it. Because you're going to actually talk over it using your uh the, the other slide okay so when you go over it then you can do the rest of it okay so let's go ahead i mean i'm gonna have to stop my camtasia recording and come back to it when it's all over but that's okay we're gonna do that now uh, i'm gonna go right here use a pointer recording <coughs> then i'm gonna go to slide record a slideshow now i'm gonna give me an error that I'm not going to be able to play it because I'm already using my uh, my video recorder, uh, my webcam. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, see, this is the, because I'm using my webcam because of Camtasia. So I'm going to have to stop Camtasia, do my recording. Then uh, let me do that again. Let me do, I have to be in the first slide here first because I'm doing the whole thing. Uh, I have to, when you start recording, you have to be at the very first slide. Okay. So I'm gonna go to recording now. We're gonna get that message. If I'm gonna start recording, I'm gonna get that message again. So I'm gonna stop Camtasia completely, then come back and uh, and see what would have happened. Okay. So here we go. Now I I did the recording and I'm done. Now I, I want to see how I'm gonna save it. Uh, first I want to play it in here just to make sure that it's correct. So I'm gonna you're gonna hear me twice, <coughs> but that's okay. So I'm gonna play it, make sure it's all correct. You don't have to do it again. You wanna make sure that you have that uh, your cam, webcam is, is running so you can actually see yourself. So now we're talking about, <coughs> excuse me, you're gonna have to talk over. And you wanna kinda time yourself how to do this as well, okay? Um, so anyways, nice thing about this, you can use uh, markers if you want and, and draw if you need to do something. So I'm gonna uh this one is if i play it it's gonna so uh, another thing uh, is you guys need to do and i'll show you how to do it play and you can walk it over and so, you can see now the mouse is actually running so another thing you guys need to do is you need to set the timer so it can actually when you save it as a video you have no problem so i have not quite set the timer but i'm gonna escape this i'm gonna show you how to set the timer for this so right here the timer is let's go right here is 53 seconds so I go into transition and add maybe 55 seconds in here okay so let's do 54 seconds then I go to the next slide I see the transition is uh, 45 seconds let's do 46 seconds so when I save it as a video 
then all these should be all fine. So I'm not sure where this is right here. Uh, I'm gonna go right here again. It's uh, 40, 14 seconds. So all right, do, do 14 seconds. It's actually that it automatically. So let's just do 14 seconds just to be on the safe side. And in here, uh, 37 seconds. So it did all, everything correct. Uh, when, you, when you do this, the fast forward, it actually record all this stuff, but if it doesn't, you do it yourself. Now I'm gonna go, when all that is done, I'm gonna go file, save as, select the location, and let me go to my, uh, this PC, browse, go to my other hard drive, it's gonna be a large one. I'm gonna go to my videos, go to your class, and PowerPoint to Facebook, I'm gonna save this one first as the PowerPoint because I've not done that. Then I'm gonna save it again as a video, MPG4 video, MPG4 video, click save. It depends how long your video is. It's gonna be pretty big, but that's fine when you up, when you publish it to your Facebook or YouTube. Automatically, the, those programs, uh, they're gonna reduce the size of the file and make it extremely, um, uh, friendly to share afterward and I can I can also show you how to download it from Facebook if you want or YouTube uh, I'm gonna pause it a little bit to uh, to record this and stop it then show you what's the final results then I put it all together the video is finished I'm gonna go back and see what it is I'm gonna go to my uh, data right here Go to my desktop. This is go to videos. Then go to the stack 195 PowerPoint. And this is the video we just created. It's about 150 megabytes. This is a huge file. Uh, but that's okay. When I'm when I publish it to Facebook, it will be or YouTube first. Then I will share it on Facebook. Then it will be fine. Okay. So to have to does it play? Let's just play it and see how it goes. <laughs> You want to make sure that you have that all the cam, blood cam is run. This is actually pretty nice. It's really, really nice. Okay, so just go ahead. It's audio is awesome. Uh, I know it's over. Uh, you, you're hearing the audio over my speaker, which is not directly from my microphone. That's why you see a, a little bit a uh, 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 background, uh, you know, funny noises. Anyways, so it works fine. You know, you can see uh, everything you want to. That's actually you do it. So I'm now I'm gonna add this video into my PowerPoints and upload it all together. Okay guys, bye bye.